We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Welcome everybody, this is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show. Coming at you live in Olac again, right? Yeah, that's exciting. Um, we've got an awesome guest here for you. We've actually got Green Girl, I mean, um, Tanya Kay. <laughs> It's Green Girl. <laughs> I did the voice. This is Tanya Kay. I did the voice for Green Girl in the Raw Man and Green Girl animated series. Absolutely. Yeah, kind of heroic. I'm kind of a superhero. <laughs> yeah, you are. Raw superhero. She's a total superhero. I'm a very big fan of her work. You should see her doing those dancing and fire and all that fun stuff. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Cool. Well, thanks for coming on. You're welcome. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so... We hear that you overcame manic depression um, by adhering to a better I lifestyle. I broke the system you of manic system. depression. Oh. Yeah. I'm still moody today. <laughs> yeah. And I'm still unpredictable. And I'm still highly creative, which are all uh, symptoms of, you know, manic depression. Right. But I wasn't always um, this easy to get along with. I was also very violent and violent towards other people. Wow. And um, unpredictable in not so great ways, you know, classic, you know, in and out of emergency rooms and support groups and psychologist chairs. And so you, did you ever beat anybody up? <laughs> I, I definitely broke things in homes and threw things at people and uh, wow. I was too violent. Yeah, I was too violent. Wow. <laughs> Doors. And, yeah. Um, but that's not, that's not the fun part. The fun part is that I'm no longer that person. I'm no longer displaying the symptoms of uh, manic depression. Not like that. And I was, uh, I was medicated for seven years for manic depression on a concoction of different chemicals. And I really didn't want to be because I was a vegan the whole time. And I had ideals that the natural lifestyle was the way to be. And I thought I was living according to that. And it just wasn't working. So... Uh, at one point, I decided that I was going to go off my meds again for the third and final time. And my support group at that time said, no, don't do it. We've all done it. It's a disaster. And my boyfriend at that time said, don't do it. I will break up with you. And my psychologist at the time said, I won't see you because we don't see unmedicated manic depressives. Huh. And I said, that's just about enough for me. I'm going to do it. And I had heard about the raw food diet. As I said, I was a, like a whole food vegan for a long time before that. And I heard about the raw food diet about a year prior while I was working in Vegas. And I had decided that I was crazy. I had accepted it. I'm crazy. But I wanted to know what it was like to be crazy and healthy. So I was going to go off my meds and I was going to become healthy <coughs> through raw food. And yeah. in the process of that, I just kind of just became healthy, period. And it's wow. a miracle because I never, I never expected that. Everyone told you you can't go off of meds. Like this is not one of those things that is curable. And I, if I had believed them, I'd still be on medications today. And and it's it's like freedom. The raw food diet is a tool for me. It's not the answer. I did a lot of self work. Didn't just go raw. I did a lot of self-work, like cognitive behavioral therapy and self-love, 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 refinement of relationships that were in my life. And today, I kind of look at it like this. Everybody um, genetically is going to display, have a predisposition to displaying a certain set of symptoms under stress. And so some people might get migraines, some people um, get arthritis, some people get mood swings. And uh, it's a matter of removing the stress or finding the triggers. What, what triggers the stress in your life? And food is a huge trigger of stress, was for me. Um, so removing the trigger of stress and just eating raw foods was kind of, kind of not like curing me. It was just letting me be as healthy as I really am. And right. I was preventing myself from being healthy like I really am before. And removing the drugs, the drugs themselves were a trigger for stress. It's stressful on your body to take these chemicals your body doesn't know what to do with. So removing the drugs removed another layer of stress. And removing people that I argue with or don't believe in me was another layer of removing the stress. And so now it's a constant updating 
of my reality every day. How do I feel and how do I want to feel? And I have tools now. If I'm feeling like I'm winding up and I'm going towards, you know, like what would be called a manic phase, um, then I eat less fruit. Because fruit is very spacey and it hangs high on the trees and you can reach up to get it. And fruit, you know, it amps you up. It's a stimulant. But sometimes if you're a person that's, you know, adjusting and balancing their moods all the time, you don't need to always be up. You need to center. And so I have the tool to use greens now, um, seaweeds and algaes and, you know, salads, just freaking salads from your garden to get back inside and take the edge off of what would be called the manic face. You know, so I have tools that allow me to decide how I want to feel, where before it was just such a big mystery and I thought something was wrong with me and we all have those things we say to ourselves about ourselves that aren't true. And I broke the system. Totally, totally. Wow. It's a miracle. <laughs> so how, many, how long were you on the drugs for? I was on the drugs seven years. Whoa. And uh, I've been raw eight years. Whoa. So that means last year, on my seventh year raw, um, I, I celebrated replacing my whole body, because they say you replace all the cells in your body, and, oh, yeah, you know, yeah. whatever. So I, I, I really felt like I was finally drug-free seven years after I quit the drugs. Wow. Yeah. So how were the withdrawals? You just like exercised them all out? Or the withdrawals were hard. I'm not going to say it was all like peaches and roses right away. I went, I went really deep uh, immediately. And if I had listened to psychologists and the rest of the world, they would have you believe that that's called relapse and that you must go back to the drug in order to not feel that way again. But I called it withdrawal and decided that the difference between relapse and withdrawal is relapse has you going back to the drug and withdrawal has you withdrawing as far away as possible because there's light at the other end of that tunnel. If you don't go back to the drug, then you have freedom. Right. And I made it through. I wow. made it through. Like six months of pretty intense withdrawal, I made it through. and. And the encouragement during that time, what kept me going, was raw food was sitting into my body as, as I was going through withdrawal. So I was also feeling flashes of ecstasy, like just pure bliss and joy several times a week. Wow. And that kept me going because I can tell what healthy wasn't. You know, healthy right. is not how this feels, and good is how this feels. And I'm going for good. I'm, I fell in love with health. Before I was so concerned about how sick I was, and I could tell you every way that I was different than other people, and these symptoms, and that I was sick. And at a certain point, you don't care how sick you are anymore. You just fall in love with being healthy. I'm in love with being healthy. <laughs> You're an inspiration. Thank you. Wow. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. So my approach to raw food is really one of um, mental and emotional health. And that's why it's so important to me to see people approaching raw food in a healthy way. So if you're isolating yourself and you're shaming yourself for falling off the wagon and you're, you're nitpicking 100% this and 100% that, to me, that screams not mentally healthy. And that's my main focus is like my mind should be as free as my body is as well. So it's a constant monitoring. Awesome. Can you tell us a little bit about your business and what your website is and stuff like that? Oh, thanks. My website is T-O-N-Y-A-K-A-Y.com. My name is Tanya K, and my website's T-O-N-Y-A-K-A-Y.com. And my business, I'm a professional performer. I'm a danger artist, TV personality, film actress, professional dancer. Anything that has to do with performing, I do it. So just recently, I choreographed the new 303 music video as well as danced in it. Um, I just booked a lead role on an MTV web series, Ooh. which is, looks like it's, that's not where it's going to stop, but yay. Um, I have a couple movies uh, screening theaters right now, including Raw Man and Green Girl Woo. and Bold Native. If anybody's heard of the film Bold Native, it's the first fictional feature film about the Animal Liberation Front, and it's an amazing piece of independent filmmaking. You don't often get such high quality filmmaking um, at such a low budget. 
really. So go see this film, whether you're a film enthusiast or just, you know, an animal activist, go see Bold Native. Um, what else? I was on Glee this year, House MD, Hello. American Idol backing up Rihanna wow. as her backup dancer. So I'm doing a few things. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Cool. TanyaK.com. TanyaK.com. <laughs> what do you love about Tanya K? Oh, such beautiful energy. Like, really... So clear and so much integrity and, and so much vitality at the same time, you know? I just, I love your energy, it's beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for coming on. <laughs> and who do we have here? Angela Stokes Monarch. And? Tanya K. And Matt Monarch. Gonna go check out TanyaK.com. And we'll check you again tomorrow at the Raw Food World TV show. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at the Raw Food World.